well. I know I'm a bit late to the conversation, but I just want to say a couple of things about the Rush Limbaugh thing that's going on. And it looks like, uh, as uh, Cenk from the Young Turks says, uh, he's hurting dog. Uh, he's losing advertisers and not doing very well. Uh, and and th obviously what he said was extremely vile. Um, but about this situation in particular, just uh, one thing I want to say is this ridiculous false equivo equivocation false equivalence between things that people always have where they're saying well it's so hypocritical that people beat up on Rush Limbaugh um, but why don't they beat up on 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 Bill Maher because he said some nasty things about about some women at some point uh, and I know lots of people have talked about it and my opinion is pretty much in line with what most people have said about those attempts which is it's ridiculous they're they're two completely different situations. Um, Bill Maher, he says something now and again, whereas Rush Limbaugh, for a period of days, was talking about this woman and calling her a prostitute and a slut. Also, obviously, that woman is just a random student, whereas Sarah Palin, for example, is a public figure. That said, that one one of the clips that they keep replaying where he says uh, something, Bill Maher says something like... Um, her and her family of inbred, something like that. You know what? I think that's below the belt. I think that's a kind of shitty thing to say. And I think Bill Maher sometimes says shitty things. Um, I don't know whether he apologized for it or not, but I thought it was a shitty thing. That's That said, it was a shitty thing about a politician that was that just happened and then he talked about other stuff. They're very different situations. To make this a more general point, this is what goes on in a lot of discussions. Whenever you bring anything up, um, if the other party doesn't want to recognize your point, all they have to do is look for any case which in the vaguest um, is similar. Like, if you have someone that's just done something absolutely reprehensible, um, if you're talking to someone about that, all they have to do is find something tiny and insignificant in comparison where you or whoever your side you're on did something a little bit iffy and then suddenly all must be forgiven because to attack this guy for this reprehensible thing would be hypocrisy uh, that said i do support calling everyone out all the time for what they say um but there has to be a limit on this it, there's this balance of reason concept and the problem is, I mean, when you actually go and if you like did a representative sample of 10,000 people, um, then you would get an answer one way or the other. But when you're just talking to one other person, they can just say, nope, they're exactly the same. They're exactly equivalent. And that's hugely frustrating. The other thing, of course, is the way that on media, various sides always have to spin every issue. So obviously, if you take those same 10,000 people, if they're all Fox viewers, um, and they watch that video where they montage uh, so and so many minutes of Bill Maher uh, segments from across a very long period of time and then spend another five or ten minutes um, conjecturing about that and they then put that next to five seconds of Rush Limbaugh saying something objectable, uh, objectionable, then obviously people are going to get a completely a complete misrepresentation and um, they're not going to understand the reality and just for the record the reality is Rush Limbaugh is a very bad human being and what he said was terrible um, but that gets me on to the second point which is uh, that he might be off the air I mean probably not but there's a, at least there's a very good chance that he's going to lose a lot of um, a lot maybe a lot of coverage um, in terms of how many radio stations carry him because he's losing so many advertisers um, and there is talk that you know if everything goes it continues as it is right now and he has no advertisers then maybe he'll just have to basically almost completely disappear um, now obviously that you know that's how the market works but I don't want to spend too long on this point but I actually have a problem with that somewhat um, because I know that's how the market works because the market always wants 
the blandest possible thing. Um, you know, if it's controversial, then the market doesn't want it. There can be a big market for it, but if it's going to upset the other parts that you also have to get um, in other contexts, then you're not going to go with it. And you see that with movies all the time. They're great movies, but they don't find a distributor because they're worried that whilst 20% of people might think it's a brilliant movie, like 40% of people will be absolutely horrified. And it's like that with, I think, Blockbuster that refused to carry certain movies because of their connection with Christians. And so they were worried if they carry those movies, then they'll get in trouble. Um, and so I don't necessarily mind the market approach because the idea that if a lot of people want to listen to him, then he should be there to be listened to. I think that's good. Um, but then when the other part of the market comes in where it's like, but if too many people absolutely hate him, then even though there's a big group of people who do want to listen to him, he he's off the air. I don't really think that's a good thing. Even though I want him to be off the air, even though I think what he says is reprehensible. Um, and it cuts both ways. Obviously, that's also what makes it a lot more difficult for people with very left-wing positions or atheists in religious areas um, to get... Uh, media time or any kind of funding um, because whenever you have an extreme position you fall into that category and that's even the case even if you already have a pretty big audience as long as there are people out there that hate you um, and that group of people is pretty large you don't really get to speak and it's not necessarily a freedom of speech issue obviously because it's a radio station it's a private entity and they don't they don't have to put anyone on um, but I see it, I do see it as a bit of a freedom of speech issue. And I do think that people who have lots of people who want to listen to them should have that opportunity um, to be heard. And I know he can go on the internet and do his own thing. But obviously, a lot of people don't have whatever internet radio or things like that. Um, so, I mean, I'm not saying definitely keep Rush uh, no matter what comes. But I just, and you know, what, what's going to happen is going to happen. But I don't necessarily like the reason why he would go off air. I would want him to go off air because his viewership shrinks to such a small pool um, that he's no longer of interest to anyone. Now, that's of course a much harder proposition than just getting enough people outraged about him because that would involve changing the minds of all of the people that are listening to him, which is a much bigger kind of project. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's my kind of sense of things. and. As I said, I think it cuts both ways. So uh, when people are too eager to jump onto the bandwagon to get rid of Rush Limbaugh, unless they're really bland, center-of-the-road moderates, be careful. You might be closing off your own avenues and you might be stopping people that you're interested in in uh, making it big. Um, and that really cuts out, you know, it, it cuts off the extreme parts of the conversation. And I think those are interesting. Um, because not all ex not, not all of the extremes are like Rush Limbaugh, what I would say, destructive in the end. Um, and when we do see something like Rush Limbaugh, I think the much better alternative is to say, yes, we'll keep him there. Look at him. He can talk. But we're going to make it so that hopefully in 20 years there won't be a s single person that's going to listen to this idiot talk. That's me. I'll see you guys all later.